Shopkins have moved into a new home and we are going to decorate. First of all, we need to decide which room is going to be what. Where's the bedroom? Where's the kitchen? Where's the dining room? And the other areas. Hmm. I think we should make this the kitchen. Let's start decorating the kitchen. Hmm. Here we go. I think we'll put a stove in there. Here's a good stove, but we need some drawers. Here's a drawer, and here's a drawer. Isn't this just cute? They're little tails. Let's put the stove right there. Now, we need to decide what the, where the bedroom is. Oh, let's make the bedroom up here. That's a good idea. We can put two beds right there. How cute is that? See the little kitties? And their little kitty tail right there? There we go. We could do that, but they don't quite fit, so we're going to do it like this. Next, we need to decide another room. How about if we make this the living room? That looks like a good idea. What should we put in the living room? How about a cute little couch? Right there. That's adorable. Hmm. I think we need a fireplace in there for cold days. Look at that cute fireplace. I'm going to put that right there. Now, let's see. We have a washer and a dryer. Where should we put those? Let's put those over here. That's a good place for a washer and a dryer. Looks like we're going to need to figure out what this room is. This is one we haven't decided yet. We could make it a dining room. How about that? How about a dining room? That's cute. In the dining room, we're going to need some chairs. Here's a kitty chair. We can put that one right here. Hmm, what else goes in our house? Well, I think we need a little table in front of our couch. And let me see. We should have a spare bed. Where should we put that? Let's put it over here. We can slide this down and have a spare bed in case we have a guest. Oh, we need a bathroom. Oh, well, let's put a bathroom right here. Should we do that? Or should we switch it around so the guest bedroom is by the laundry? We could do that. That would be cute. All right, yes, let's do it that way. That looks good. Isn't that cute so far? We're building our house. And in the bathroom, we're going to need a sink. So let's put a sink, whoop, let's put a sink right here. Sometimes it's good to have water. When you're doing laundry and you're taking dryer lift out, you can wash your hands. What else goes in our house? Hmm. How about one of these by the bedside? Sometimes we need a little table. And here's another kitty chair for the dining room. It's looking pretty good. What are we missing in the bathroom? I think we're missing a toilet. Hmm. Do you think we have enough room for all this? We might have to switch it around. Yep, looks like we might have to put the bathroom over here. 
and the sink and the toilet. There we go. Let's put that right there. That works a little bit better. Yes, I like that much better. And then we put a little stand right there. That works. And if we slide this down a little bit, then we can put a spare bed right here. And then they're right next to the bathroom. That works really nicely. Okay. Now, we have to put some more things in our house. We should put some food on the table. Here's a cute little burger. Let's put a burger right there. And how about some fries? Burger and fries. That's always tasty. And we have some wood for the fire. Let's put this little piece of wood on the fireplace. Right here. Look how cute that is. Can you zoom in and see the little wood down there? Isn't he so cute on the fireplace? That's adorable. Hmm, looks like our living room is a little bit empty. <laughs> we'll have to find some things to put in there. Here's a mirror. Where does that go? We can put that right by the spare bed. Then when a guest stays over and they get dressed, they can make sure they look good. Here's a little poodle. Let's put the poodle right on the floor by the fireplace. They like to keep warm by the fireplace. Ooh, and look at this. We have pizza. Sometimes we watch pizza or watch movies and eat pizza in the living room. So we'll put a little pizza right there. And guess what? I found a bathroom scale for the bathroom. Let's put this right up here. That works excellent. And how about we have a bowl of popcorn? That's a good thing to have when you're watching a movie too. We'll put this right here. Pizza and popcorn. What a delicious snack when you're sitting in the living room and you're hanging out with your poodle and you got a nice warm fire. That's wonderful. And we have a lovely table. We're gonna put this right over here, right there. And I think since as long as we're in the kitchen, how about if we put this cute little silver spoon and ladle, we can put that on the burner of the stove. Ooh, every kitchen would like a pie. Do you think a pie would be good? I think so too. Let's put this cute little pie right here because it was coming out of the oven. And we can put some greens on here. That would work. Hmm, what else can we put in there? How about a little mixer? The mixer can go right on the shelf under there. And we need a microwave. Put that right above the stove. Oh, and here's some girly stuff for the bedroom for the Shopkins. Let's put some perfume up here. And the bathroom needs some toilet paper. Can't have a bathroom without a toilet paper. That looks much better. And how about a little alarm clock for the girls when they wake up? Put it right by the bed. That's so cute. Oh, and in the laundry room. They're definitely doing laundry. So we should put some laundry up on the dryer. 
I love Shopkins. I think we need some laundry detergent. And oh, we should put the laundry detergent right over here. That works really good. Yes. And here's some more pretty outfits we can put on top of the dryer. Because they came out, they're fresh and clean. Don't they look so cute? And here's a little one, little baby one. Ooh, and a ball gown. So cute. And one more even, we'll put that one right there. And in the bedroom, I think they need some lights. How about some cute candles? We'll put that right by the bed so they have light in case they want to read a book. Oh, or they could write in their dream journal. Doesn't that look like fun? We'll put the dream journal right here and the little pen right on the bed. That looks awesome. What else can we put in there? Oh, so we have a little makeup kit. Look at that, isn't that cute? That can go in the bathroom too. And I think over the tub, look at that little bunny tail. We'll put some soap in here, some bunny soap in there. We'll pull that out and just put it right across here. Oops, it tipped in. That silly bunny soap. There we go. Hmm. We might need some bunny shampoo. We'll put that in there too. That works really good. And here's a book in case someone wants to read before they fall asleep. We'll put that one right here. Be our guest. And here is a cute little dustpan and broom set. Isn't that adorable? We'll put that down here in the kitchen because they'll have to clean up when they when they're cooking I know sometimes I have to clean stuff up and here's a nice little side table we'll put that down in the kitchen as well because we'll have much more to hold and here is a fork and a knife. We're gonna put that in the kitchen too. We'll put that right there. And I think we have room on the stove for a frying pan. Should we use the green one or the purple? I agree, we'll use the purple since we already have a green stove. And how about if we put a little egg on there. Do you see that cute little egg? And a spatula. The green one has one as well. Isn't that fun? Cute little set. Oh, and in the laundry room we definitely need an ironing board. We need to put that right up here. You see that little spot right there? We're gonna put it right behind here. That's where the ironing board will go. And I think we need a little TV for the living room. Let's put a little TV right here. So they can watch, let's put the TV right here actually. That'll work great. They can watch TV and eat. And no home can exist without mail. Here's our little fence. And here's our mailbox. And we have one piece of mail we're going to put in the mailbox right there. See? In the back side, we have little mail. And we'll put that one right down here. Outside our house. So if the mailman brings mail, we'll know and we'll get it. And every house needs a garbage can. Where should we put our garbage can? Let's put it right behind here. We need a garbage can, but we don't necessarily want that to be our shining piece. Here's a little cell phone. 
we'll put this right on the table here. And we also have a rotary phone. We can put this on the little desk in the kitchen so that there's a phone everywhere. That works well. And a can of Wizzy Soda right here. So there's something to eat and drink. And next, we should put some soap on top of the washer. Right here, we'll put it on the side shelf right here. The cute little soap right there. And here's a blow dryer. Let's put that in the bathroom right there. Because after a bath, sometimes we need to dry our hair. And sometimes we even need to curl it with the curling iron. We'll put that right there as well. That'll work great. And here's a nice cup of tea. We'll put that right down here in the kitchen. So when they're cooking, they can also have a snack. Our house looks so cute, but we still have a couple bare spots, like right here. What else can we put in the bathroom? How about a hairbrush? We could even put the hair dryer up here. Put the hairbrush down here and put that up there. We'll put the bigger things up there. That way the little things fit just nicely there. And we have another addition. We have the box of soap for a little sense of soap. We'll put this right here. There we go. That looks great. And then we have a box of pencils. We can put this right over here. box of pencils right by the dream journal. And then we can put this fun little hat right up here too to show a little personality. Maybe Halloween is coming. And someone here must love to play the keyboard. So we're gonna put a little keyboard up on the bed here. That's a fun activity. Maybe play a lullaby before bed. And here's a little book. We'll put the book right there in case they want to take notes. Here's a little grandfather clock. Let's put that right here so they know what time it is when they're sitting in the living room talking. And I found a soap dish. Isn't that cute? We can redo this. Put the soap right in the soap dish. Put that right on the sink. Doesn't that look cute? There we go. And we have a little hairspray. We can put that right here. Actually, that works well. And we have a toothbrush holder. We can put that right here. And we can get a toothbrush for that. And then in the kitchen, we can have a little toaster with a piece of toast. We'll put that right down here, right by the telephone. In case someone calls when they're having breakfast, they can answer quick. And here is some lovely greens. Greens are so good for us. And look at this, we have two cute little lipsticks. Maybe one's a lipstick and one's a lip gloss. Where are we going to put those? I think we should put them right here. Isn't that just so cute? Can you see them? We'll zoom in a little bit. There they are. Each room's looking pretty good. Look at that. How cute are our rooms? Look at that. Ooh, I love it. We did such a good job, but we still have some more to do. Here's another bar of soap. 
We can put that right there. Oh, that's got a tip there. Put that for the bathroom. And then we have a fun little glitter keyboard. We can put that right here in case a guest wants to have a little fun before bedtime. And then we have a plate and a spoon. Cute little kitty cats. We'll put this right here because there's enough food for people to share. And we have another dream journal. We can put another dream journal right here so both of them can dream and save their dreams. And then we have this tiny little cute side table. Seems like it would be really useful somewhere. How about if we put it right here in case there's anything we want to stick on there. And look at this beautiful French perfume. Ooh la la. We have to put that up here in one of the girls' room. Girls love perfume. Oops, it fell back there. Sometimes these things roll a little bit. We'll put it right there. There we go. Perfect. And we have a little baby bed. And a tiny little rattle. We'll put that right here. And we'll stick it right by the living room. So that if a baby comes, there's a place for them to take a nap while people are visiting. What a good idea. And this is a super fun little heart-shaped mug. I love this one. I think we'll set this right here, right on the chair. That way they can have their fun little drink while they have their snack. And then we have a couple little additions. We have a towel for by the bathtub. And we have another little puppy keep this poodle company right there and it looks like our house is pretty well done but now we have to do Sparkle Hill High School we have to get the high school set up because we definitely need to get schooling and get an education Welcome to Sparkle Hill High School. It looks like we have an empty school that needs to be set up. All right, let's get busy. Let's put the sink right there, because in the chemistry lab, you have to be able to wash up if you get chemicals on you. Sometimes that even means an emergency bath. So we're going to stick an emergency bath right under there for those who might need it. And it looks like we have three other rooms. This looks like a classroom. This looks like sports. And this looks like it could be a music room. Look at this, we have a piano. It opens up. Put the piano right here. Let's put the piano right there, actually. That looks like an excellent place. And it looks like we have some jars on the wall, so we could double as a little home ec room where you learn to cook. And that's fine. We can absolutely share. And here's our little ballet bar. And we can put this right here. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And we have a little gym bag. We have a little music book. The music book can go right on the piano here. There we go. Oh, that's absolutely adorable. Do you see that? That's so cute. And then we have a little CD player for music when they dance their ballet. So we want to put that right up here in case they don't want to use the piano. And then we have some music 
right here. Here's a little harp. We can put that along the edge. Oh, we can put it in the little storage right here. Do you see the little storage? Right there. Inside the stairway to the upstairs in the high school, there's some storage there. That's fun. And we have some other things for ballet. Sometimes you dress up and here's a little ballet hat. That's super cute. We'll put this in the stairway too. What a nice place to store. And we have some ballet stuff. Bags and that that we'll put up here too. How about a cello? Or it could be a violin. I think it's a cello. We can put that in here too. And every ballerina needs some ballet shoes. We'll put those right here. Or actually, we can put them inside the ballet bag. How cute is that? And this is a metronome. It keeps time to the music and it can keep time for dancers. This little thing goes back and forth. Tick tock, tick tock. We'll put this right on top of the piano. We dropped our music book. Sometimes that happens. There we go. And we have one more instrument. Now this probably is the cello. We're going to put this over here too with the other instruments. Because music and dance go together. In fact, so does a microphone. Because sometimes we just want to sing. We can put that microphone right in that ballet bag too. And here, this is a chemistry book. Could be physics too. We're going to put this up in the classroom right here. And look at that. We have a microscope. How fun is that? We'll put the microscope right here. And we have some books. No school would be complete without books. So we'll put some books up here. Put them right there. It's really coming together. We're doing a great job. And a stapler. You never know when you're going to need that. A stapler can go right up there. And a camera, because sometimes you have to take a picture of nature and bring it back to discuss it. So you definitely need a school backpack. And here's a second camera. Ooh, popular item. We'll put that down in the stairway. And this has a pair of ballet shoes on. So it's the CD for the ballerina music. We can put that right here, underneath the ballet bar. It fits in there perfect. And here's a garbage can. We have to put that underneath the desk in case they have garbage to throw away. A couple candles, very commonly used in a lab. We'll put them right here. There we go. And then we have some interesting chemistry supplies. Look at all this. Doesn't that look like fun? And a chemistry chair. Wow, look at that. We have beakers and Bunsen burners and test tubes. And it looks like a volcano. Someone did an experiment in the lab. And here we have more. These test tubes are holding important scientific items. We're going to put it right there. And one of these looks like it's missing its topper. I think it goes to this one. There we go. We don't want those chemicals spilling all over. So now let's set these up right here. Because a good scientist has all their equipment with them ahead of time. You never start a project without having everything you need. We'll put the volcano right there. 
we should probably put it in the sink because if it explodes, it'll need to go down the drain. Look at these fun items. Chemistry is a blast. Look at all that stuff. When you go to school, you can go to school to be a scientist. How absolutely wonderful would that be? Maybe you'll find the cure to chicken pox. That would be fun. And down here, we have a big open space that's a gym. We can have a container of sports equipment there. That works awesome. So we could even... We could have some bleachers for the fans to sit in. Like that, they could watch the game going on. Gymnasiums are so much fun. And here's another piece for the school. And we have a fun little container right here. Oh, actually, that's really cute. Let's display that right there. We have another dress a piece for ballet. And we have another microphone. We have a pink one and a blue one to go with our ballet shoes. And here's some candles which you need in chemistry. We'll put those right here. And then a little holder for when they're making an experiment. And here's a towel. We should have one of those by the bathtub. Put that right inside. And then no school is complete without a book. That's awesome. And then we have a little desk. We can put right here for students to learn. And here's a pencil. And another book. We'll put this book right here. And this one right there. Doesn't that look amazing? And here's a ballet shoe. And a fun little ball for on top of a science experiment. And then we have something really cool. This is part of the candle that they use in the Bunsen burner and beaker setup. Put that right there. That is so awesome. It's looking fabulous. And here's a tablet to learn on. And some more ballet items. Here's a cute little ballet stool just to sit on. We can put this right on there. And then some equipment for cleaning the gym. And then we have a vacuum cleaner because we've got to clean up our mess at the end of the day. There we go. And some tongs in case we need to grab something important, but we don't want to touch it with our hands. And here's a pen. Maybe this is a whiteboard marker. That could be what it is. And an alarm clock so we know when class is over or when class begins. <laughs> and here's a towel in case they're sweaty at the gym when they're playing their games. We don't want them to get too sweaty. And then everybody needs a snack, so we'll put this on top of the stove. Some spaghetti and a bottle of water. What a good lunch. And then we have some roses. We'll bring those for the teacher. Maybe the teacher also teaches ballet. Sometimes in ballet they dance with flowers. That's kind of fun. And look at this. This is a TV and DVD player. Because sometimes in school, we have to watch movies to learn things we didn't know before. Very important equipment. And this looks like it could be something for science. <gasps> Maybe 
it's a new kind of metallic dust or space dust. We'll put that right here. Ooh, it looks so cute. I can't believe it. Our decorating is getting close to being done. It's looking really good. Let's put this right here so we can get that big industrial cleaner for the floors up off the floor. And then we have a belly purse for important accessorizing. Maybe it's an extra ribbon for your ballet shoes, or maybe it's some ballet makeup. Sometimes we have makeup when we're gonna have a performance so we can look our best. And here is a little stool. We'll put this right here. Put our bag on it for our homework that we carry back and forth. And here is a little carton of milk. This is Milk Bud. We're gonna put Milk Bud right there. They'll enjoy milk with their meal. And another thing at a school is sometimes you have a pool. Here's a Shopkins pool. Doesn't that look fun? We're gonna put a little slide in there. Maybe we'll have a little floaty. And we can have a little sun seat up there, lounge chair with a little beverage. Look at how cute that is. And you need a tiny floaty. Gotta have the tiny floaties. Pools are awesome. And then say maybe for fun, they have some cotton candy. Ooh, look at that. And maybe a little hamburger. You gotta have snack foods when you go to the pool because sometimes you can get really hungry. They can even have a game table. Maybe it's tennis, maybe it's ping pong. Never know. Here's ping pong. And here's tennis. Look at how fun that is. But of course, if you play those, you need a tennis ball or a ping pong ball. Look at how cute that is. And here's the holder for the balls. That way you have a place to store them so they don't roll away. Look how fun that is. And now we have one little thing we're gonna put right here. And it's got this tiny little stopwatch on. Cause sometimes when you're playing sports or cooking or doing an experiment or taking a test, you need a stopwatch. Now, look at this beautiful setup we have. We'll go to each room. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. I would love to live at the Shopkins house. Think of how much fun that would be and it's so colorful and bright. I love it. And down here, we have the kitchen. Look at what a good job we did and the cute garbage can hiding behind there. And upstairs, the spare bed for the guest. The laundry room. And then the kitchen. We've got our little mixer and microwave up there. Mmm. Look at that delicious pie. And you could even put them some things in here for storage if you wanted. Just like we did with these stairs. Wow. Look at how much fun this is. We did a great job. Wow, the metronome and the ballet bar and the CD of music and the microphones and the little kitchenette and the timer. Remember we just put that on there? And then the gym with the bleachers 
extra towel and sports equipment, floor cleaner, and here's the basketball court. Here's half court. And then we have our classroom. There's the chalkboard where the teacher writes stuff. And I bet you, you could use chalk and write on there and it wouldn't hurt it a bit because chalk wipes right off. And you have all your school supplies. How fun is that? And over here, you have the science room. There's the beginning of the science stuff and chemistry. Look at that. And the book's got to be a reader. Reading makes you so smart. And if you don't know how to read, you can learn at any age. Except if you're a baby. Babies can't read. But some babies are pretty smart. And then we have our pool. Look at that slide and the floaty and the little floaty and the fun stuff there. Ooh, so it all looks good, but I think we're still missing something. There's no Shopkins there. Huh, we need to fix that. Hmm, let me see. How about, well, I'm gonna pick my favorite girl. This is my favorite one of all of the toys. I like this the best. I'm gonna put her right there. And she needs a friend. How about if she has Popette? Popette makes popcorn. Those are both kind of foods, so we're gonna put them in the kitchen. There's a lot of green, so we'll put both of those girls in there. Okay, now we need someone for ballet. Hmm, who would be a great ballet girl? How about if we get someone pink? She matches perfectly, look at that. She looks like she loves ballet. And this girl looks like she could be a singer too. So we're gonna put her right here. Wow, that's really cool. Hmm. Who should we put in the bedrooms? There's enough room for two girls. Well, she definitely needs to go in the bathroom because she has bubbles in her hair. That's so fun. And she has her sleep mask on, so she should go upstairs too. I think that works great. Now, who's gonna be in the spare bedroom? We have a guest. Hmm, how about if she comes over? Oh, she's got her swim gear on. She needs to go to the pool. Silly us, we can't have a girl in her swimsuit hanging out in the spare bedroom. We'll try this one again. How about Rainbow Kate? Doesn't she look so cute and stylish? Now, we need to get some people in our Sparkle Hill High School. We've got two downstairs. Let's get some science girls up there. I bet you she knows a lot about science. We're gonna put her right, let's put her right there. She looks great up there. I love it. Now we have to get someone else in there. Hmm. Who should we get? Let's try her. She looks like she's smart. Very smart. We still need some downstairs. Wow, she looks like she could be pretty sporty. We'll put her in there. What an awesome choice. And she looks like she's about ready to kick the ball like she wants to have some fun so we'll put her in there now we have two girls left and two rooms which one should we put in which 
Hmm, she looks like she's ready to sit down and eat. She's got chocolate coming out of her cup. I think she's like a cocoa girl. Whoops. And this one just did a back bend. Woo. I think we'll put her right here. And that is it. We have made a beautiful, beautiful setup with our Shopkins. One more time, let's check those rooms out. Wow. We did amazing and it's so cute. Look at that. Oh, the girls are gonna have so much fun. Yes, they are. And they're all in the house. I bet you they're gonna have a slumber party tonight. I think they will. That one's my favorite. Isn't she adorable? She reminds me of Christmas. And then we have Rainbow Kate upstairs. Hanging out. Maybe she's listening to some music behind there. Maybe she did a little laundry. Oh my goodness. What a fun, fun place to go. Let's zoom out and let you get a good picture of that room. It's so adorable. I just love it. I think this, the chemistry lab is probably my favorite room. Think of all the science experiments you could do. Of course, I do like a good pool. I hope you had fun with that, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Some of you wanted some Lego videos, so we're making some Lego videos. Right here, we're finishing up the little kitty cat. That's their little cat stand. And we have a little bowl here. Oh, come on, kitty cat. Maybe the kitty's gonna stand right there. That's so cute. And then we have this here. I'm getting her put together. Putting her on. There we go. And she is in her little castle area there. I think it's a castle. Okay. And then we'll put this purple one on top. Isn't that cool? And we have this gal, and she sits at her desk. There's her little computer. And that goes right there in her little chair. Here's her chair, and here's the little girl. And this is her desk. Isn't that cute? She's got a cup and flowers and some kind of important thing she needs for her work. And then we have this one, which is pretty fun. Put that down. Ooh. Did we bump you off your chair? We're sorry. Let's slide you guys back a little bit. There. It'll be harder to bump you because we're going to make some Lego stuff today. And in here, we probably need to put her hat on. She's got her little outfit. Put her right in there. How fun is that? Look at those. Aren't they just neat? Sparkly. And here's a bigger one. This is fun. You can go in and in the back you'll see the crystal tree. Here's what it looks like from the back. Lily Cat and I put that together. And 
And then we have this one. We have to put Elsa in there. And there she is. And I think she has a little crown that goes on her head right here. Look at that. Isn't she just so beautiful and royal? Put her right there. Can you see all those? There you go. Then we have two more. That's kind of a fun one. And that's a fun one. We're going to put Elsa in this one. There she is. Doesn't she look fantastic in her little dress? I'm going to put her right here. Slide her back just a little. Right there. And in this one, right here, Elsa, she's got a little heart on there. I'm going to put her right in here. And then on top, we're going to put, actually let's put a snowflake up there. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? I just love it. She looks amazing. And then we have this guy here. I don't know who he is but he came along for the ride. Put him right there. Actually, maybe he can be a friend to Elsa. Let's back him up just a bit. There. A little bit too close. There. Look at that. It looks like she's challenging him and she's winning. This right here is the kitty scratching post. Put that right there. And it appears we have we have three projects here we can do. So let's just pick one and give it a whirl. We open this up. See what we have. Empty those pieces out. Wow, that looks pretty fun. We've got a lot of cool pieces here. I wonder what they're all for. Wow. Look, there's even a little tiny play scissor. How fun is that? All right, well, we'll take this and put them on the corners. Right here. Just like that. And I think they gave us some wrong pieces. They did. We're going to see if they switch something up here. And look at the other side. There we go. I think that looks a little bit more like it. That's much better. Okay, we're gonna change this up. We're gonna put this on right here. There we go. And we'll put this on right here. Looked like some parts got switched in the bags, but that's not a big deal. We can fix that easy enough. 
can see we're putting this together. So far, so good. Now, we have to take this piece and put it in here, like that. Then we put this right here, right on that corner. There we go. Looks good so far. And then we put this right here. that right in there. Looks like a chocolate factory. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Actually, we're going to do this. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer so it looks nice and evenly tiered up there. Look at that. Wow, that's so royal and majestic. I just love it. Now we're going to take this piece, put a flower in here. See how cute that is? Wow! And then we'll put a flower on here, and a flower on here. Isn't that so cute? I just love it. And we'll put, oh, put this right here. And she has some flowers. And here she is. She was going to trim some of the flowers off. So we will start putting her together next. We're going to take this piece. And this piece. Put that on there. Sometimes they can snap kind of hard. And then this piece will go on there. But first we have to put her arms on. What I've learned from experience is that these snap on super hard. to really push. That one's so tough I almost can't get it in. I'll try one more time. There, we got it. Persistence pays off. Now we have to work on the top of her. Put this on. Right here. Oh, that snapped on top too. Well, they're not going to come apart easy, that's for sure. Look at how cute she looks. That's adorable. I love these little things. And then she can hold her shears because she is going to trim some of the cute little flowers there. Like that. Oh. There, we'll lay this right here in her hand. I'm going to have to put her hand up just a little bit. There we go. And Elsa's in her little flower garden. We'll add that to our collection right here. Because we have another one to do. We have two more. So let's open these up. Right down here. And make a couple more. Here's all the exciting Lego pieces. Look at that. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what it is. Ooh, it's going to be awesome. All right. Looks like we start with this piece right there. Ooh. 
and we put this on in the back like so. Isn't that pretty? That nice clear blue. I just think it's so cute. And then we take this piece here and this piece here and we put those in the corners. And then we have this one right here. Look at that. It's pretty interesting, huh? Not quite sure what it's going to be yet. But we put these on the side. Wow. Looks like a beautiful... Oh! It flipped away! Ah! Better use two hands for that. The other one went on super easy. We did it. We caught it. It didn't get too far. And then we're going to put this on right here. That holds those two together. And this holds these two together. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Now we have this one goes right here. Like that. And then we have these that go right on here. I think those are Olaf's arms. Olaf is such a funny guy. And he's got a carrot nose. There he is. Put his little head on. Look at that. Is that super cute or what? And then we put this on here. And then we put this one on here. It's kind of like Olaf's little happy castle. Now we're going to finish the top. So on here, we're going to put these little tiny things right here. And this one right here. And then we put this one there. Then we put little Olaf arms right there. There, I don't want to push it in too far. Oh, and his head fell off. Let's try that one again. Look at that. Is that not wonderful? He needs one little button in front. Because you know how snowmen have buttons on their clothes, right? On their chest. Look at how cute he is. And those sparkles in the back. Another wonderful creation. Let's add him to our collection. We'll put him right here. Wow, look at that. All those Olaf and Anna and Elsa places. Now we have one more. I wonder what this one's going to be. All right, here we go. Let's take these out. Ooh. That looks exciting. And we always start with this piece here. This 
right here. We're going to put this right on the back, like so. There we go. And sometimes when it's hard to find the right spot, you just slide it back and forth and it will come into place nicely. Oh, and these go here. And this one goes here. Ooh, I'm liking this already. And then we want this piece. Right here. And this piece right here. Ooh, kind of a nice little half circle there behind there. I love it. And then we're going to put this one right here. No idea what it's going to be yet, but it looks really good. Let's get all that Anna pieces out of the way there. Now we're just working with these. So then we have to take this one and put it right here. And of course the star goes in there. It's already so beautiful. We almost don't need to do anything else, but there are more steps. So let's do this one. Looks like this goes a little bit closer. There we go. That holds it together. The instructions say to do it differently, but then it doesn't reach to shut. So sometimes when there is an error in the directions, you have to figure it out yourself. But that's one of the fun parts of this. And then we put these on here. Ooh, look how beautiful that's looking. And we have some coil pieces that go on here. Does that add character or what? Look at that. And then we have Anna we gotta put together. Here's her dress. And like we did before, put this in there. If it doesn't slide on well, we turn it around. There we go. That's beautiful. And then we want to take this part of her body and snap it together. Starting to look like Anna, isn't it? And her arms are on here, so we have to break each arm off of here. And then get rid of that piece, because that's not good. And then we have to snap the arms in, and remember, they snap kind of hard sometimes, so be patient. I have a little pliers I use to pop them into place. And there they are, they are popped on. Let me take this. And then the piece de resistance. Her hair, that definitely looks like Anna. Isn't it beautiful, my goodness. Then we can put her inside. I'm not sure how she wants to stand here. I guess like this. That's perfect. And then we have a little crown for her head. So we'll put that on top. Look at that. She is looking so good in there. And then she holds this in her hand. And I dropped it. I might have to put it on her before I put her in there. They do grip them pretty good, so they're certainly not going to fall out and get lost very easily. 
You really have to not be watching what you're doing. And she can hold this one in this hand. <laughs> Looks like a double jewel day for her. Super, super nice. I'll turn it like this. And there she is. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. I love it. And she can have a little music there. She's probably dancing to some music. How fun is that? All right, Lego lovers. Let's check out our collection so far. We have a fun Olaf with his two little snow pals. And we have a little kitty and her bowl and her scratching post. And we have Elsa back there. It's kind of dark. Hmm. There we go. The light just popped up better. These are so cute. That's the one we just did not too long ago. And there's Anna. I love all the snowflakes and the ice flames on top. So neat. Wow. Beautiful. Should we see what other Legos we have to do? We have more Legos in Lily Cat's Lego box. Let's give this a whirl and see what we can come up with. Here's one from Monster High, Draculaura. And put that one together right here. And she's got some accessories she can wear. Let's put that around her here. Doesn't she look so good? She's got her little Monster High phone right there. And she's got some ghouls who like to hang out with her. Let's see who we have. We have Cleo Denial. She's getting a little loose. We have Claudine Wolf. And Laguna Blue. Isn't that so fun? All these girls with all their friends. Look at that. And they each have Monster High phones. So we can give them each one of these. So they can talk to each other about their monster business. I'm sure it's very important. If I can pop this in your little hand there, Claudine Wolf. She's going to make it a little tricky for me. I'm going to have to take her off. There we go. Let's put it, yeah, let's put it in this hand. There, she's got her phone. Now she's a happy wolf. Yep, put you girls back there. And then you need yours, Laguna Blue. There we go. Look at that all together. And then right here, that can go right on top. I think maybe it goes in here actually. There we go. Oops, nope. We had it right the other time. Actually, I think there should probably be something there. And then here is her Monster High purse. Look at that. How fun is that? What a great group of characters. And this is all Monster High. They have other sets you can get. I think Lily Cat's going to work on getting those. We'll move these gals over here with the other groups. Very nice. And we have a little Five Nights at Freddy's for you Five Nights at Freddy's lovers. 
We're getting this whole thing put together here. See all the characters back there. And we have some characters that can stand in here. There's Freddy. Oh, here's another one. Goodness sakes. Look at that messy. Woo! Put that there. And we have another one. I think we can fit him right there. That is so cool. These aren't the Legos, but here's some of the Five Nights at Freddy's toys. Lily Cat is a lover of a lot of things. A lot of different types of toys, a lot of different types of characters. We'll put those back there. We have a couple other characters. For some scary characters, they sure are cute. Good grief. There we go. And we have some Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. Phantom Balloon Boy. This is his little stage right here, I guess. So let's open him up and see what we've got. And it looks like we have one piece sealed in this bag and I don't know what it's for. We shall see. Let's open this up. Ooh, looks pretty exciting. This is the box that came in. I think we're making this one right here. That looks fun. Okay. So we're going to look at the instructions. They tell you each thing to do one at a time. Now we already have him together. So we're going to start building the platform. We're going to do that. And then they want us to put something right on the edge corner, the long way. All right. And then we have a square black piece. Let's get these set up just a little bit so we know what we're working with here. We're going to put this one right here and we're going to put this one right here. And we're going to put this one right here and then there's one that's two colors it says. Hmm. There it is. We're gonna put this one right here. There, looks like they, we did what they wanted. And now we go to the back side. Ooh, yes. We take these two square pieces right there. Could be these actually, yep. And that's going to face forward here and forward here. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> and then we put this one right in the middle. That seems to make sense. And then we grab one of these. So let's put that on. And then on here we put this. Some of these snap pretty tight. And then this. And then this one. Hmm. 
there. Look at that. We've got it. That's pretty nice. And now, on here, we're going to put this right on there. One hiccup, though. It's just not high enough. Hmm. We can fix that, though. We're going to take this one, pull it off, and we're going to put it right there and raise it just one more notch up so that these fit in there nicely. And that still may not be tall enough. Wow. Let's see if we can put this on here first and then put it on. Nope. There we go. I think we did it. All right. Now we have that on. Still not on tight. Now we've got Freddy himself. Ooh, all right. On here, we want to put these pieces. This goes on top of here. just do not want to snap on there loose, do they? There. Now we've got that perfectly, just like we need it. Mm. We don't want that. We want this. And I think this might fit. Yes. There it snapped on. I was wondering if there was something I was missing. Okay, now we've got this on top of here. Pushes in. And then we have this. which we've got to push really hard. Ugh. There we got it. <laughs> now this. You see how Freddy's coming together there like that? And then we have to make these on here. There we go. And then we put this on right here. Put Freddy right in here. And then we have a little cap to go on the front of that little square piece. Oh, all right, we'll put this on first. Everything's popping all over here. There we go. We've got that piece done. <laughs> now, we can put this one on this side. Look at those crazy guys. Five Nights at Freddy's. Here we go. And now, actually Freddy needs to be a little bit taller. I'm going to build it up one more. There, perfect. Now, we're going to put this on, but first we have to put this little picture on there. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty dark, but that's Freddy. We put that right here. Just like that. We put this on there. And then this piece right here we save in case we lose a piece. That was just a spare. And there we go. We've got Freddy put together. How about that? 
That is pretty cool. So we'll put him over here with the other Freddy. And then we have another one to make. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. This is going to be interesting. Let's make another one. Legos are so much fun. There we go. Let's open this up. And bring it out to see what we have. Ooh, this looks pretty interesting. Okay, so we have him together there. We did him earlier. And now we take this. And put these pieces right here. Ooh, looks like it might. Oh, it needs a second piece right here. You see that? All right. You're going to put this one on here. Press that on there quick. And then add this on the bottom. That's how we're going to hold that together. And then we want this piece with the circle off to this side. And then we're going to put this one right here. This one right here. And this one on top of it. And right there, we have part of the base of it done. Now back here, see these little guys here? I want to take those It's always nice to set everything up so you can see the pieces. Now on the end, we're going to put these on. We're going to build it up a little ways. We really want to make sure, whoop, didn't have that facing right. There we go. I want to make sure we have those designs lined up. Here's another one. Here's another one. There we go. And we're going to do two more. Kind of like a brick house, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Look at that. And then we're going to drop this in here for the window. Look at that. It's coming together. Five Night at Freddy's. Here we come. And then we're going to put this one on here. How slick is that? And this is the top. Look at that. And then he can go right on here. And then we'll move him to the side. Whoa, pretty crazy, huh? I'm going to look in here to see what is left, if there's anything left to build in here. All right, we have a new one. We are going to make the party room. This is a much bigger one than we have done. So here we go. Let's get these open. I think I can rip them. Yep. Wow, 
look at this. This is definitely going to be a big base for Freddy's party room. Wow. And here's the instructions for the first one. Not too tough. Not too tough. We've got to get all these pieces open though. There's a bunch of them, huh? All right. We have quite a pile of stuff going on there, as you can see. It's pretty exciting. Now we're going to get going on it. So the first thing we do is we put these two together, which we have already done. And then the next thing we do is we take some of these longer ones. We'll set these back here so we keep them separate. We don't want to get them confused. short ones here, some longer ones there, and these here are all different lengths, so I want to make sure I line them up, as you can see right here, so I know I'm getting the right lengths in. And these are just going to be tops, they'll finish off the top of the wall. We have a white piece here, put that right there. There, give you a little more of a visual. And here's a green checkered one that's long, then a short, and a short, some flat pieces. And then some white floor pieces and some black floor pieces. Get these all laid out so we get them in the right order here. I think it's going to be a checkerboard floor. And then we've got some present type things. Those are kind of cool. We'll just set those right there for now. We won't be using those for a little bit. Then we've got some really short pieces here. All right, and I think we're ready to rock and roll. So we need the three long ones. Oh, we want to turn it like this. There we go, like that. That's how we want it. Okay. We want to put some long ones across here. is out of the way. There's so many little pieces that if you're not careful sometimes it can look like the right piece and it's actually incorrect. All right so we're gonna go a long one right here. I'm gonna get these two pieces held together first. That's my plan there. And then we need one of these little ones right on the corner here. And then we're going to put some of these longer ones right here. Oh, 
that one's too long. We want a shorter one. We can do that. There we go. Get that piece right there. See how that goes? Mm, you know what though? I actually want the long black one there. There we go. I think they want this long black one there. Yep, they did. Put these on and then put this on. There we go. Perfect. Hold that room together. Come on, get on there. There we go. That's what we wanted. That's more like it. Now we're going to put a little one right here. We just want to take this edging all the way around the back there. That one goes right there. And I think, do we want this one right there? Yep, we want that one. There, so see we've got the border all the way around. Nothing will be stuck on there, okay? Got that done. Now we're gonna start doing some of the checkerboard floors. We're gonna start going like this. And this. And this. And this. That nice checkerboard floor pattern in there. And we're gonna take it all the way across to the sides here. Put that on there. And that on here. Come on, there you go, slip in there. Just like that. And this one's gonna go right here. And then, we want to stick some pieces here. We want to get a little find it. two piece one. This one goes right here. Put that white piece on. Okay. And now we're going to put these black pieces on, get rid of some of that floor space. And there's one piece I need right there, but I'm not seeing it. So there's a chance, oh, here it is, right there. They want that one. There you go. Perfect. Let's get that out of there. A little piece of thread in there or something. There we go. Now we'll finish putting the rest of the, whoops, flooring in. It's kind of ingenious how they made these things. They did very, very well. Okay. This one. So we've got one, one, two. Three and then one, two, three. Now between these two white ones, one, two, three. Oh, we need to take this one out. Hard to get them out once you've got them in, but I've got one in the wrong spot. And I need to take it apart because I have to put something else in there. So I'll take it out this way. There we go. Put the white there. All right. So it's one, two, three. 
So right here, right here, I want this black piece right here. And then this black piece right here, which I think is what he's going to stand on, if I'm correct. And then... I think we're doing this one. If I'm correct. And it looks like it. Oh, they want this one on there though. Again, I saw the white piece, but I didn't see the design, so we are going to put this on here and this on here. There, that's better. That's what they wanted. Now, this one doesn't have the black markings, so I want to set that to the side. And then they want us to put this on here. This is going to be a really interesting piece. I can't wait to see it done. Looks like the long one then. There we go. All right. We've got that. Now we have to figure out these little pieces inside here. Over here, I think we can put some black pieces here. Looks like we do, but then... There we go. Put those back there. We are getting this floor down really well. Now over here, we need some white ones. We need to put one of these and then one of these. I believe that's so the characters can stand on them. I'll put a black one in the corner, a black one right here, and I've got to do the same back here. Right here, just slide that in. That looks good. And then we've got two more floor pieces left. We'll put those in there. And then we have the base to the party room done. What a wonderful job. Yes, it is looking good. Awesome. So that's step one through five. Now we are going to do step six. We'll put this on in seven. Well, they want us to do this next. Alrighty, we can do that. That's easy enough. Put that row on here. Wow, it's really starting to look good, isn't it? Love it. Okay, and now we put this one on. Nice long black piece there and there. Alright. How's this looking to you? Pretty cool. Definitely like a Freddy's place. Okay. Now we're going to put this one on here. Freddy's party room. That's too long. We're going to put a... Nope. There we go. Perfect. And then... Oh, we need some of these now. That's interesting. So we're going to put this shorter one on. And we're going to have one facing forward like that and one facing forward like that. So far, I think it's going very smoothly. All right. And then we put this three piece right here. And then we have another one of these that goes right there. And then we have one of these, I believe. Let me put that other short piece on here first, just to make sure we're picking the right measurement. Because sometimes taking these things apart is a little 
a bit more of a tricky thing than a person thinks. And now, yes, perfect. Look at that. That's beautiful, guys. We've got it. All right. Now, we have another layer. And it looks like we put a corner on here. We've got two, one, one. And then we need one in the middle here. Okay, so we put this on this end. And then we have a shorter one right here. And then we put this one on right here. And then we put this one on. We've almost got that back wall done. It's looking really good. Wow, I like it. All right. And then we take this short one here, cover that up. I think we're finishing up the top, guys. Mm. Just gotta get this scooted over a minute. There we go. And we put this piece on the end. Look at Freddy's fun house is really coming into play here. Sweet. Now let's start bringing these decorations over here because I think we're going to be using them pretty soon. All right, now we've got to start putting some stuff up here. Look at all these pieces we have. Wow. And I found this little thing in there. I'm not sure if it goes with anything, but it was in there, so... We're just gonna set it to the side because I don't think Freddy has any purple bunny rabbits. <laughs> I could be wrong. All right, and now we've got to put some pizzas on here. Let's so put some decals on. Okay, we've got a pizza right here. Look at that. And then we've got these to do. This goes right there. And this goes right here. And this goes right next to it. We've got our three posters up on Freddy's wall. Look at that. Whoa, it's definitely looking like Freddy's now. Yes, it is. We're going to put these right here. We've got to... All right. Going to have a little slice of pizza up here. This right here. And then we're going to put some of these right here. A little bit crooked. That's how it shows. And right there. A little bit crooked. And we've got that on, so that was pretty fun. And we are then going to put some balloons on. These look like fun. Oh, I like them. Like that. This one's gonna go over here. Oh, no, this one's gonna go up here. There we go. Apparently they each have their own spot. There it goes. And this one prop 
it goes right here. It does. Look at that. We are getting this party room rocking. <laughs> wow. Now, we need to put the next one together. We put this on here. And this on here. This on there. We're putting our presents together. That is so cool. Squish those together. And we'll put the, the purple one here. It says to put it right there. Hmm. Well. There we go. It's the green one here. All right, now we take this and I think we put it right on here. Like this and this one like that. I'm assuming this is going to be some kind of a party table. It sure looks like it. <laughs> and now we have some stuff to do here. So we take the table and we put it like this. And then we have a little plain one right here. And then this one. And then we have another one like that. And then we have one over here. And then we have one here. And then we have one over here. Looks like we have our party table. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then we have to put this on. Aha. That is pretty cool. Let me get all these little pieces here off. Did we get them all? I think we did. All right, now let's see if we got this table aligned the right way. Okay, so. Boy, woo, 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 don't stick yet, don't stick yet. Looks like we got it, check it out. Oh, that one looks like it's in the wrong place. Actually, it looks like the stickers are in the wrong place. Even if we turn it, oh, I don't think it's going to work. Uh, come on, get off of there. Uh, yeah, if we turn it around, oh, yep, there we go. That might be the deal. Comes it pays to check it out. There we go. Look at this, guys. We did it. We've got our table. Woo, look at that. That's awesome. That is better than awesome. That is amazing. Now, we've got to put our little party hats on here. Oranges. I guess we've got to hold on to this little thing. Oh, come on, little party hat. Get in there. All right. And we need some purple. We need a little green here. Oh, come on, green. A little blue. Another little blue. Look at how cool that looks. Is that not the most awesome little thing ever? Wow. And then this leg goes right. No, that does not go in there. Ah, we need to put this on top. There, and then we put this leg right there. Wow, that is so cool. It really worked. I'm liking it. All right. We turn the page, and now we have a couple 
gifts that go up here. That is so cool. The blue there. The orange there. Lily Cat is gonna love this. She's definitely a Five Nights at Freddy's fan. All right. Actually, this one is kind of knocking it loose, so we're just gonna set it right here. That works just fine. Ooh, yeah. Okay, now we get our, our Freddy, and Freddy lost a leg somewhere. I don't know why we didn't get it with him, but they didn't send us a leg, so we are good with no leg. I wonder if we can kind of like, just put this on. At least make it a little stable. Nope, you cannot. It is not the same height. Well, Freddy, <laughs> looks like you're gonna be without a leg. So here is our Freddy Fun House. How is that, guys? Is that not awesome? Look at that, woo! And we have extra pieces, but they usually send extra pieces because they wanna make sure you don't run short. So that's okay. I put all my manuals and all my extra pieces into a bag and I save them. And then we have our Legos done. Now let's take a grand tour, shall we? This is gonna be so awesome. That was just the click of me taking this off the board. Now we have these pieces here. And I wonder if these don't fit together somehow. I bet you they could. See, we have this one. And then we have two little ones. And we have that one. I wonder if we could make them fit together. Do we have any extra pieces? We do. Let's give this a whirl. I'm gonna let you guys check out Freddy's for a minute while I open up this, this piece. Ooh, we can, we totally can. I am loving this. Okay guys, so here's what I'm thinking. We can probably hook these two together. You think? Betcha we could. Let's try, let's try doing it like this. Let's see if we can't get these on here. Oh, we did. We have a little bit in the front to hold them. We might be okay. See that? Oh, there we go. I'm telling you, it's looking awesome. Yep, indeed. We hooked those together. We could probably hook all of this together if we wanted to. Let's take her out. I know this does shut, but it's kind of a pain. Let me see if I can just steady the camera there for a minute. And get this thing. No, it does not want to shut. Ugh. Oh, this little bugger. Get in there. We want you to close because we want to try to hook them together. We'd like one big gigantic Freddy factory, right? That would be so cool. Come on, get in there. Ugh. It is just being testy, let me tell you. There. You guys see? I think if we could hit all of the hook all these together, we could have a really cool Freddy. Freddyville? <laughs> Is that a word? We'll put her in there, Ballora. Oh, look at him. Rah, he is so scary. He doesn't fit in there. We'll have to stick him in here. I wonder if these two rooms could go together. Mm, nope. Maybe this other way? They both have balloons on them. You would think they could go together. We'd have to raise this one up just a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> he keeps falling over. Legos are so fun. And you can be so creative. 
there. Maybe he's the MC or the life of the party. Well, I don't know where this goes, but we'll put you right here, little bunny. There you go, boys and girls. How is that for our big Lego layout for the day? Wow. Let's zoom in a little bit. See how cool these are? Wow. Those Monster High girls absolutely rock. And the little Legos, they're so fun. She's got her desk and her coffee cup and her flowers. It looks like her little lamp. And then you have Anna and Elsa. The Snowflake and Snow Queens and Princesses. Wow, that is so cool. And then again, fun time at Freddy's. Well, I hope you liked it today, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us. Lily Cat Channel will be back with some more play videos as per your request. So let me know what you want to see next. Put it in the comments. Bye bye And remember to like and subscribe and have a Lily Cat day. Have a Lily Cat day! Like and subscribe.